What's up everybody? Chad Boyle, EXP Realty Atlanta, Georgia. I am doing this quick video on how to do an action plan in Mojo. So what I'd like to do here is, first off, let me move my head. Um, so I'm in Mojo as you can see. So how do you set the, the action plan up? So if you go over here to your welcome, your name, click on that down arrow, if you go to settings, may have to move my head around a few times so you'll see like maybe I'll put me down here you got uh, action plan right here so if you click on that you can see I have one set up right now so why don't we just go in here and take a look at it so we'll just go into edit because it runs you through the whole thing maybe I'll just move me back up here so Here's the steps of setting it up. So this is the name, of course, that's expired. So every morning I go in here, I take a look at my expireds. Anyone that has an email address, I assign them to this action plan, and then it starts immediately. So scheduling type can be frequency-based or date-based. So frequency is just uh, the steps, uh, number of days or whatever. Um, date-based it gives it on specific calendar dates um, you can ha have things done so mine's frequency based so you know day once it's assigned is day zero and then the next day is day one and on and on and on so I define when things happen by the day that it's in the action plan so on you know immediately they're gonna get an email day one they're gonna get an email day two they're gonna get an email all the way to day seven, then day 14, then day 28. Date based, you could set that up like uh, if you wanted to, you know, assign all your pals uh, or like everybody in your database and you want to do like, uh, like a holiday email, for example, like New Year's Day, they get this email, um, you know, uh, what, Valentine's Day, St. Patty's Day. I mean, you just set all the emails up and then once you do that, then it's just all based on the date. It's going to be all set up and it's just going to work, which uh, we could probably do that. Because right now I'm just going to walk you through this and we could probably actually just go ahead and set that one up. So then your scheduling logic, non-strict order, strict order, you know, you can, you can read through these. It's very like, you know, user-friendly, self-explanatory. It's not complicated at all. I actually have mine skip on the, skip the weekends as part of days. So, um, so that's this, just these uh, these options up front. So then you go to the next part here, and then this is this is where it all happens and where you design everything and all that good stuff. So you'll see, like, action steps. So one, you know, I got nine action steps, and then the action steps don't don't just have to be an email. They could be email, phone call, a task where hey, I'm gonna do this task, and you just define the task as like send postcard or whatever letter you can mail them a letter you print a mailing label uh, bomb bomb email I don't use bomb bomb so I don't know too much about that um, and then you can assign it everything's getting assigned to me because I'm the only one doing stuff um, and then it's uh, here when you have email selected you have to select the email template that you have already created so when you go in here and you'll see this in just a moment when we actually set one up but you have to have the email template already set up so that you can select it here and then that's what's going to get sent out and you can see here's here's all my email templates set up so appointment uh, so that's like so when I set an appointment with somebody they get this this email contact info when I just want to email my contact info to somebody they get that template and then here's all my expired ones that I set up and we'll go into those here in a minute. And then I have my market update one, and that's just where, that's my market update that all my whole database gets, and I'll show you that one too, because it's a part of this action plan. So as you can see, this action plan consists of nine steps. They're all emails. So uh, every day, they're getting an email for the first seven days, and then after that, uh, day 14 and day 30. And then after day 30, they're just gonna go into a, just get general like monthly emails something to that effect so once you set all this up then you can just click next 
uh, trigger, none. It's just as soon as it's assigned, that's the trigger. Um, I guess you can have like, you know, if the listing status changes or something like that, you can have it do something else. Or if you add it to a different group, um, then that can trigger an action plan um, if you want. And then after you choose at the end of it, I got mine do nothing. So it's going to do nothing right now. But basically, once I set up this other action plan that I mentioned, then it'll just I'll start other action plan and it'll select that and then it'll go to it. So, I mean, that's like all there is to doing it, like setting it up here. I mean, it's pretty straightforward and easy, like I said. I mean, the main thing is you got to have your email set up, right? So, let's kind of walk through that real quick. So, as you can see, you know, here's email. And see, here's all the emails. And so, what I do, so now let's, uh, let's talk about this for a minute. So, we want to set up an action plan. And uh, we'll just call it like holiday action plan. holiday email and we'll say that's date based uh, I'll just keep that yes because you know it oh well it's date based so it doesn't matter and then you know we'll just have an email and email template begin on date and then we'll just start like let's say Memorial Day right and so see this is what we're gonna do here an email we'll say you know the next holiday what is gonna be you know probably July 4th okay so those are a couple holidays. We can set them all up in here. You start January 1st, New Year's Day, you go all the way to, you know, New Year's Eve. So let me cancel this. So, you know, you see here we're missing a piece of information here. We need the template. And so how do we set these up? So here's how I do it. So I go here, like email, and basically all mine are kind of, they're kind of laid out the same way. So I just kind of rip off the template that I already have and then use it. And so then I'm just modifying text because I got a, so you can see here, here's my email. Well, here, let me, let me get out of here. I'll just pull up the market, market one. Uh, where is that? Oh. My market update. Because they all like have the same format here. This one might be a little bit different. So this is my market update. I send out to my whole database. So here, this is like my whatever I don't know what you call this it's an image that I created so it's got my headshot and then just my info and then my company logo I actually created that what I did was um, using I think I used let's check let's, let's do this so if, if you don't have like an email signature or something like that there's a way you can do that so let me, uh, I went into Google Docs. Let's see here. I'm going to change accounts. Okay, here's where I made it. So basically what I did was, you know, I just took, inserted these pictures into a Google Doc. And then I just did a screenshot of the area, and, and that when that screenshot then became an image file, so um, like a JPEG, and that's what I used in here. So that's how I did that. I just created it, you know, putting a picture and some text together in, in a Google Doc, and then took a screenshot of it to become the, uh, the image here. Uh, sorry, where am I at here? Let me go back to Mojo. Okay, so that's how I got that. And so I always put that right there at the top. And then I have my content below it. Um, so in this market update, these are all pictures of, you know, these are graphs of my market data. Uh, then I just have some text down here. So like I said, I try to make all my emails the same where I have this, um, my logo and all that stuff up here and then the content below it. 
So I'm going to get out of here. So you've seen a couple now. So if I just go into here, this is my expired day one. They did that. Then they got the content. You know. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save as. And I'm going to call this uh, Memorial Day. And I'm going to say Happy Memorial Day. Save. And then, so then it saves it. Go out here. Open it up. And you can say. Happy Memorial Day. That's it. Then you hit save. And then I can go here. I can go, let me open this. A quick save as. I'm going to go July 4th. Happy 4th of July. And then I gotta, you know, go back here. Come in here, like this. Happy Fourth of July. Shoot off lots of fireworks and eat. Lots of barbecue. Save. Now if we go back to action plan. Oh, I didn't save that one. So let me create it. I can create it now. Holiday emails. So date based. Next, I got two steps, email, email, email template, first one is Memorial Day, this one is July 4th, begin on date May 28th, begin on date July 4th, hit next, um, Let's see, we can I guess it's only one. You can do it's clients. Oh that's my clients one. I guess it's uh I guess you could probably set this this up um, a different one for each group. Or maybe you could group all the or here, so here's what I'm kind of stumbling across is that I'd like to this to be assigned to all these people and basically all these groups. I guess I could do a couple things. One is I could create an action plan for each one of the groups. I don't know if that's a great idea. Second, I could create a group of the groups and then assign it to that and then everybody underneath that group would be there but I think for now I'm just going to put none and then uh, I'll manually assign them and then do nothing at the end hit uh, save action plan successful and so now okay so I created the action plan What's that going to do? Let me go over here to my data. And by the way, so you could create a folder. I wonder if you could create a folder, put all those groups in that folder, and then assign it to that folder. I don't know if you can technically do that or not, but whatever. Anyway, but you can go here, and you can, uh, like clients, I can go here and then select 
and then marketing, sign action plan, holiday emails, and sign. Three. So now they're all assigned. So we've kind of gone over a lot, kind of action plans. I'll walk you through kind of the ins and outs of getting it set up, the different steps, how to define all those. Um, then we took a look at, you know, if, you're, if you got emails as a part of your action plan, then you got to create those templates first. And what I suggest is you, you come up with a one that works for you. Hey, here's my, you know, logo, headshot, all this stuff. Um, I'm going to have that here. So that's at the top. So everybody sees it. Then I have my content below. That's what I suggest. Um, so just kind of come up with a format. That way you can just reuse that format over and over and over and over again, no matter how many emails you set up. And then once you have all your emails set up, then you can just define those in the action plan. So just want to wrap this up. If you have any questions, post them here. Um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Create more Mojo videos. Let me know in the comments what, uh, what you're stuck on with Mojo that you need help with. Um, and then if I, you know, something's not here, you know, something's not making sense, you can always call me, 678-761-2493. Thanks. Have an awesome day.